first I heard of it. I guess there were some thought, uh, rumors about it. I don't know, but the first I heard of it, Frank and I were having breakfast. And we were down. At, we were playing a jazz festival in, uh, uh, I think it was Raleigh, Charlotte, North Carolina. And uh, we were having breakfast and just talking, BSing back and forth about certain stuff. All of a sudden, he said, "You know," he said, I, I, "I'm thinking about breaking up the band." And I went, "No." <laughs> I said, really? And he said, yeah. He said, uh, he said, I just want to go another direction. And uh, and I said, oh man. I said, I said, I don't understand. I said, I I forget exactly what happened. But then he he, he told me. He said, what I have in mind, I want to get a, uh, uh, I want to disband this unit, and let everybody do their own thing. You know, it's a nice way of saying getting lost. Um, he wanted to form what he called a power quartet. You know, at that time, all the bands that were making money were three and four guys. You know, Blue Cheer, uh, The Cream, uh, uh, all those bands. Uh, and we're carrying nine guys, you know, at the time. And so it was very expensive. And so I think he wanted a more mobile, uh, uh, really crackerjack unit that could play a lot of interesting, intricate stuff and also be cheap to take out on the road. And so I was immediately kind of, and he said, yeah, I want you to play drums and percussion, or I guess mostly drums. So um, when he told me he was going to break up the band, I was, I was disgusted, I was hurt and everything else, because uh, it, was, it was just the best thing I ever had in my life. I just loved the band, I loved everything about it, I just couldn't wait to get to the band and do what we, what we did. But on the other hand, I was pleased and, and flattered and, uh, and also excited about a, a new, a smaller unit. But I was also a little guilty because, well, what were the other guys going to do, you know? Because uh, what he had in mind was he, uh, he was going to be four guys. He would be, of course, the lead, you know, guitar, singer. Uh, he's going to hire Ian Underwood to play uh, keyboards and, and what else. I was going to play drums and percussion. And he hired this guy. Uh, named Jeff Simmons, I believe, to play bass. And uh, so, um, anyway, that's that's another story. I'll get to that in a second. But uh, the, then th there was the process of, of winding down, you know, and of course everybody started resenting it and the, the fact that we were going to break up and, and nobody can understand it because we, we were doing more gigs. Uh, I think that was in... Uh, well, that was in sometime in '69, but we'd we'd done so many jobs. And it seemed like we were working a lot, and uh, we started to make better money. And, and that that whole thing about Jim Black, uh, actually, that was recorded before. I think that was back in New York. And, um, you know, nobody could understand what what he was wanting to do. I think, uh, to be honest, Frank just wanted a, a a band with players that he thought were at a higher caliber. And, I'm just guessing. I had no idea. So, uh, any rate, so the band wound down and so forth. Um, we started having rehearsals with this new unit, and uh, uh, they'd hired a rehearsal hall in Hollywood, and we we started playing. Frank didn't make many of the rehearsals, so we're working on stuff. Well, I just couldn't get along with his bass player. You know, I, I'm sure he's a I'm sure his mother loves him, but I just I just could not get along with this guy, and uh, and I don't know what he thought about me, but uh, I, I just after working with Roy, uh, which was ideal, and then trying to work with this guy, I, I just I just couldn't do it. Well, about that time, uh, we'd done a few gigs together with uh, uh, Beefheart, and I'd met them and all the guys in that band, and and he invited me out to the house in in Woodland Hills, and so I was going out there, and. I, I was rapidly losing interest in, in uh, Zappa's projects, and I was more interested in the music that, that Don was doing and those guys. So uh, I forget exactly a sequence of events, but we actually played one gig together. The, the, uh, this new band, I don't know what he called it, this four-man four band, and Captain B. Fart and the Magic Band. And we played a, a gig together at a place called The Experience, on the East Sunset Strip in Hollywood, and it was owned by a guy named Marshall Brevitz, 
who had owned a similarly named club, The Experience, in Miami, Florida. Marshall was a great empresario and club owner, and uh, he loved the whole, you know, rock industry, and he loved being a club owner and all that stuff. So he had a lot of, it became an in place. All the guys that were in town um, that were like in between gigs or maybe they were playing somewhere and they had time, they'd always go to the experience. It was just all the guys, I mean, I, I might be sitting some night with Hendrix and, and Joe Cocker and, and, and guys like the Bonzo Dog Band would come in and they'd play. Nobody got any money. It was just, they just loved doing it. And uh, so it was just a great thing. I think that, that one gig we had at the, at the, the Experience Club in, uh, on the East Strip in, uh, in Hollywood was the first and last gig of the, uh, that four-man band that Frank had wanted to get going. And uh, I, I don't know what they did after that. And by that time, uh, concurrently with that, he was working on a, a, a big show they were having out at, uh, I think it was Pauley Pavilion out at USC, UCLA in LA uh, with the mothers and um, uh, the LA Philharmonic with Zubin Mehta, you know, conducting. And I was supposed to play that gig and I just, I just lose an interest, and I and I, I started getting a resentment. It's coming back to me. I started getting a resentment, and uh, I, I didn't like the idea that the band had broken up. Uh, I didn't care anything about this new band. I was getting more interested in, in the, the Magic Band, and uh, I just thought the hell with it, you know. And the money was an issue, and so I didn't even show up for rehearsals for that. And they eventually, uh, I think they got Billy Monday back to play for that gig and a couple of other guys. A couple of guys didn't play. And I think, uh, who did I see that show? We went down to the show. It may have been, uh, may have been me and Don and Don's wife, Jan. We went down and saw the show. And it was all right, but it wasn't, it wasn't right. But it was, it was a good show. So I think, and then after that gig, I think that was the, that was the final end of the mothers. And, and I don't think he did anything that whole next year uh, I don't think he did anything during 1970 much. I, I don't know exactly what they did. And then he formed another band. By that time, the Turtles were on the scene, and of course, Ruth came in, and Ian came back, and and uh, they did some really good stuff, I guess. I, I really couldn't tell you what. See, I was a musical snob. You know, I wasn't really interested in, in anything that anybody was doing much except what we were doing. And I didn't think anything else was important. It just, nothing else. I mean, we played with a lot of different bands. You know, and I thought the music was fine, but I thought it was silly. And uh, of course, they're making big money and we're just scraping by, but I thought they were silly, you know. But, uh, but I was in it for the music and the, and the, and the music that uh, I didn't care what anybody else was doing. It just didn't, you know, it, it, it wasn't interesting. You know, it, there was nothing of any, uh, of any meat in it. That, so, I, so it was very easy for me to not get involved with anything besides uh, new stuff, you know, you know, more third stream, more avant-garde stuff, if you will, in that, in that realm. So I just started doing studio work and whatever I could get, and uh, uh, you know, and then I eventually joined up with Beefheart, and we moved out of LA and went up north. And, but that's another story. But I think that was the end of uh, of the original Mother's Invention. I'd, I'd say that was the that was probably the it, you know, as far as the original guys.